As promised, here's a little shortcut uh, to punch in the hardcore equations only one time and then be able to use them in derivatives or uh, or integrals. So here we go. Um, I'll do I'll do one right here. So uh, this y five is going to be the w of t right here. 21 minus 30t, okay, all that. So I have 21 minus the quantity 30x divided by the quantity x minus 8 squared and all that. Okay, perfect. So that's y5. So now if I'm doing the last part that, that we were just doing, I needed to find the derivative. So math eight with respect to x, I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit this alpha key right here, alpha, and I'm going for f4, and I'm gonna select y5, and the x value that I'm supposed to punch in is 3.5, and that gives me the negative 3.786 that I'm supposed to have. Do the same thing, math. 8 with respect to x, and I'm supposed to find the a of t, which I've saved in uh, y1, so there it is, there's y1, enter, at 3.5, and there's my negative 2.6, boom. Works the same way with the integrals, so math 9, I was finding the integral um, right here, where k was 0.89204. So I'm gonna go 0.89204, and this was supposed to be 2.416, 2.416. And uh, my a of t I have saved in y1. So second f4, there's y1, hit enter. This is in respect to x, and I'm gonna hit enter. And that gives me that 44.497. See, I don't have to punch it in all the time. One more. I've saved. Uh, and look, I, I can show you where I saved it. It's all right here. So my Y3 is the previous problem. Problem number one that we did together. And so, um, real quick. So, I think we had to do the, um, the derivative on the first one. I can't remember when I was looking at my paper. Yeah, derivative and plug in 5.1. So here it is. Uh, math 8 with respect to x. Uh, I said I saved it in y3. So there it is. Enter with respect to x. And I'm 5.1. Boom. 6.49. Can't remember if that's the right answer, but I'm sure it is. Uh, let me check. Let me make sure I got it right. Yep, 6.49. Boom. And then I think we had to do an integral. Um, oh yeah, right here. 0 to 4, add 7 to that. So you can even do it like this. 7 plus math 9, 0 to 4. I saved it in y3 with respect to x. Boom, there it is. Anyway, there's a little helpful trick to hopefully save you some time on the test.